will now travel back to Europe and I will welcome on stage the Minister of Environmental Protection and Agriculture from Georgia, Mr. David Tachvili. And while he is joining me on stage, I would like to remind you that and to encourage you to follow up the discussion on Twitter thanks to the hashtag you see here, OIE hashtag AP6SG, and to join our social media to see videos and photos. Thank you. Dear President of the OIE World Assembly, Director General of the OIE, uh, Excellencies, OIE delegates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here today to have for the first time, the opportunity as a Minister of Environmental Protection and Agriculture of Georgia to give a speech at the opening ceremony of 86th General Session of World Assembly of National Delegates of World Organization for Animal Health. Georgia, situated as a crossroad of European and Asian civilization with its picturesque mountains and valleys, its small but famously hospitable population of around 4 million and its mouth-watering cuisine truly represents an intriguing case study for numerous viewpoints, but especially agriculture and human health, uh, animal health. A country, historically an integral part of Western culture, is today an accelerated course to join European and Western communities. Most recent notable achievement of these hard efforts was undoubtedly the 2014 association agreement with the European Union, which included vital deep and comprehensive free trade area section. The agriculture, after a relative slump for a few decades, is experiencing past viable. Traditional Georgian products, especially wine, mineral waters, hazelnut, are now winning the hearts of European and world consumers. Our livestock industry, uh, is developing at a rapid pace and exports of live animals, meat, meat products are on the steady rise. For instance, export of live animals and meat products has been doubled in 2017 compared to previous year. On the other hand, development brings not only new opportunities but also new risks to animal and human health and their livelihoods. Uh, this is why animal health and welfare are cru is crucial for protecting human and animal health and ensuring economic and agricultural growth, uh, particularly in expanding local markets and exports for our country. Official controls for an entire food chain from farm to fork are already by large harmonized with EU equivalents and obligations that Georgia has taken as a part of association agreements an obligation it did not forget to fulfill. It should not come as a surprise to anyone that we are actively cooperating with World Organization for Animal Health. It, occupy, it occupies a central place in our policy making, standards development, establishment of core principles. When it comes to global and regional OIE activities, more and more Georgia is appearing on the radar of, as an active participant and contributor. It hosts many important events and generously offers its educated and experienced specialists to jointly face emerging veterinary challenges all around the world. Georgia strives as much as possible to lend assistance to other countries using the OIE platform. The aid encompasses uh, various aspects of veterinary field, especially endemic diseases in the region such as PPR, rabies, FMD. In similar way, Georgia is enthusiastically taking part in different OI tools as OI uh, PVS and legislative missions have been complemented in Georgia. Our input may be measured by other metrics as well. Our delegate is currently member of both regional co-group of OI commission as well as of regional steering committee of global framework and transboundary animal diseases in, for Europe. We have also uh, been appointed as an EPINET leader for the West Eurasian region for control in FMD. Concurrently, as stated before, Georgia hosts countless meetings and trainings conducted jointly by OIE and FAO aimed at controlling FMD in the region. We already have tangible outcomes uh, as the country is rapidly moving up uh, the FMD progressive control pathway stage three 
with the set future goal of declaring certain zones within Georgia as free from FMD with vaccination. Our collaboration with OIE has already yielded many fruitful results. Just to name a few, our veterinary medicine system complying with internationally established standards owes much uh, to recommendations and advices we have received from our colleagues. The measures we have undertaken with their help have considerably improved Georgia's veterinary capacity. The endemic diseases which used to ravage the country in the past have been greatly minimized. However, as impressive our progress has been and as beneficial our cooperation with OI was, we still have many obstacles that lay ahead of us. In future, in order to successfully tackle the challenges and find long and short-term solutions to problems and issues that are still afflicting Georgia, the organization's help will prove to be absolutely invaluable. We have already come far enough. We are not willing to stop now midway. With the saying, one health, one world, I would like to also mention one health approaches that Georgia is practicing nowadays on the other hand, internationally, since represented as a lead country for real-time surveillance action package of global health security agenda, and the other hand, within the country, as we work side by side with our colleagues on the One Health approach that give up uh, compelling results, animal and human health. For instance, together we managed to decrease anthrax cases, animals and in humans by 70%. Uh, we managed to reduce rabies cases in animals by 65% and uh, Georgia is celebrating zero human case for three years now, which is also in line with OIE, FAO and WHO joint initiative of zero human deaths uh, from dog transmitted rabies by 2030. Uh, and finally, to sum up, uh, I would like to draw attention to the 28th conference of OIE Regional Commission for Europe. Uh, which will take place on September 17 to 21st in uh, our beautiful sunny capital Tbilisi. Uh, it is my honor to invite the Director General Monique Elliot uh, and delegates and representatives from uh, 53 European countries uh, to this seminal event. I assure you uh, that during the charming autumn days uh, you will have the opportunity not only to diligently uh, work and discuss animal health topics, uh, but also to experience all the Georgia has to offer, including a taste of our uh, delicious and exclusive dishes, uh, world famous wine and unparalleled hospitality. Uh, and thank you very much for your attention.